Hello, and welcome to my Revit Tips and Tricks channel. Uh, I'm going to describe a, a major problem I had with Revit the last several weeks. And this just started out of the blue. So I'm going to launch a Revit on my computer here. I'll, I'll use Revit 2022 for example. Both, this happened to both versions. So here's Revit launching on the screen. Now, the problem is that the software uh, launches as normal. Uh, the home page appears, the ribbon appears, and then the software unexpectedly crashes. And, and without warning, there are no error messages, uh, nothing at all to indicate that there's a problem either on my computer or with the software itself. There it, there it went. Now, this problem went on for several weeks. And unfortunately, uh, due to several classes I was teaching of Revit, uh, I wound up assuming it had to do with my computer, this current computer I'm working on today, and, and I purchased a new computer. Now, this is after going through uh, the web, looking for solutions. Now, here I, I, I entered Revit crashes when launching. I emptied out this temp folder. I clicked on this link here. I went through everything listed on this recommendation list and nothing worked uh what worked temporarily was was uninstalling revit and reinstalling it and it may have worked for a day or so and then suddenly it stopped working abruptly for for no apparent reason uh i even went as far as uh reformatting my computer because again, I assume that maybe something was wrong with my computer. So I wound up reformatting it, uh, reinstalling all my software, confirming that I had licenses for all the software. And yet, after several hours of work and several days of going through these issues, nothing changed. So ultimately, I bought a brand new laptop that's compatible with Revit. I assumed it must be some hardware flaw. And um, the new computer uh, launched the software just fine. It lasted for a day or so. And then the same problem happened again. Uh, and you can imagine how incredibly frustrating it is having to pay for a brand new laptop um, only to find the same problem yet again. I was running out of time. So ultimately, I wound up reaching out to... Uh, Autodesk tech support, which is completely useless. They haven't, they haven't helped me at all. Uh, I've, I went out and searched for different vendors and I found this one here. Uh, imagine it. And uh, I subscribe to a year of technical support. I teach several classes of Revit on an annual basis, six this coming semester. And I need to solve this problem immediately. So I paid for a tech support for a given year. And I got on a call with these, these folks. And after a couple hours of working, we finally came to the, the conclusion of what was the problem. And the problem was my antivirus software. I have seen no uh, information on this, on this bug. Um, on on uh, regarding Revit um, anywhere, and so here's my my antivirus software. It's called Trend Micro. I've used it for years. I had it installed on this computer. I have it installed on my new computer, and this software has been uh, on my computer for the better part of at least five five plus years. Never been a problem ever. Until one day a few weeks back, when all of a sudden, Revit stopped working unexpectedly. If you go into the settings for Trend Micro and you go to Exceptional List, there's a list here. As it turns out, uh, after we, we um, imagine it, uh, uh, shared this with me, there was a bulletin on Trend Micro that uh, the business version of Trend Micro was having conflicts with Revit. 
I have the personal version. I've never had a problem with it whatsoever. I didn't think to look because, again, the software had been installed on my computer for quite some time. So it turns out that Trend Micro needs these folders added to the exception list of programs that it will not disable. And again, there's no warnings, uh, no issues whatsoever um, that appear. And out of the blue, my software stopped working abruptly. So for you all that are out there having the same issues, maybe it's your antivirus software. In my case, Trend Micro. So once you add these directory names to Trend Micro, in my example, the software started, started working just fine. So now I have two laptops with Revit. Um, and, and they both function just fine. Thank you, Trend Micro, for the headaches that I've encountered. And, and thank you, Autodesk, I'm being sarcastic, for all the help you did not provide. Okay. Uh, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, this does not happen to you. But if, you, if it does happen, I, I would recommend these folks that I, uh, as uh, imagine it, great, great, uh, very professional, very experienced, very useful group of people. And, uh, and the problem might be residing in your antivirus program. Okay. Okay. Till next time. Bye now. I hope you found those Revit tips useful. Now, for those that are seeking Revit training, I do have my own personal training website at revitprid.com for interdesigners and architects. For those that seek college credit, I am teaching at Oakton Community College. A few of my class listings are on the screen now. These are also offered online and in person. For aspiring interdesigners, you can find me at Columbia College, Interior Architecture Department also in Chicago. And finally, architects can find me at IIT uh, campus, architecture department. Again, you're in Chicago. If you have any questions on Revit, feel free to reach out to me. Happy to answer.